In this video tonight, I'd like to talk to you about how to make a tinted or toned canvas and discuss why we would go ahead and make the canvas surface have a tint or a tone and the benefits to setting that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that process. So this is just a standard canvas that you can pick up at any like arts and crafts supply store or online. It doesn't have to be anything too uh, extravagant. This is just a standard uh, cotton canvas like you would get at the store. Um, what you're also gonna wanna pick up to do a tinted or toned canvas um, would just be some acrylic paint. This again is just an inexpensive uh, acrylic color. This happens to be by Liquitex and this color is a uh, burnt sienna. And that's uh, good because what we're trying to do ideally is we're gonna try to match uh, this color uh, somewhat to like a wood palette. But when you have a tinted or toned canvas, it's really gonna help bring out the, uh, the warm colors in the paint tones. And I'll get into that in a little bit. So we'll just take uh, this acrylic paint and also I just have a cup of regular water. This is just a disposable cup and uh, just a clean rag. I wouldn't recommend um, using anything like a paper towel or anything like that because the fibers when they get wet can actually stay behind on the canvas surface. So I literally just open up the uh, acrylic paint and I put it onto my wettened uh, towel. So I put a little water on there and then you can just kind of wipe it right onto the canvas surface here. I like to get around the edges um, and cover everything, including the sides, just because I I don't like to have anything kind of possibly poking through uh, when you get a, um, a frame up onto this canvas. So you just kind of continue to work this through. Um, the paint will actually kind of dry pretty quick because it is an acrylic paint. So what you would do in that case, like if right now it's starting to get a little hard to manipulate, just take your rag that has some of the acrylic on it and then just put some more water on there. And then you can just go right back up onto this and, and spread it around. If you feel like uh, this might be too dark, you can add more water to it and kind of push it around. But this is a quick and easy way just to get the canvas um, a little bit of tint and tone to it versus just working on a pure white surface. I don't want to make it too uniform like this. I don't think that's a good look personally. I kind of just have fun with it and kind of dab and get right after it. Um, so when this dries, you can actually use your oil paints right over the acrylic. It will not hurt it at all. Um, see, this is getting a little light here for my liking. So what I might actually do is put a little bit of more acrylic paint on there. And you can continue to build this up as light or as dark as you'd like. Um, again, the idea is that you want this to try to be kind of a neutral color. Um, you can do different types of tints and tones. You could do it with black. I've done that before if I want a very moody or kind of a somber painting uh, in the background. Or you can also do it with blues again, which will also uh, kind of give it that darker tone to it as well. So what's gonna happen with this and why we're doing this is because oil paints to some degree are rather translucent. And if you're painting this very fast and quick, um, you might see some of the high areas of the canvas, so like the what we call the tooth of the canvas, actually showing through. Like if you were to do a lot of fast, rapid brush stroke, it would actually shine through the paint. You could actually see the canvas surface. So this uh, eliminates that white background. I really like to do this um, when I do portraits too, because this kind of makes a nice uh, base uh, skin tone. So when you have those areas that are kind of popping through uh, that would otherwise be a white canvas. It gets kind of hidden in the warmth of this. Sometimes too, when you do your backgrounds, you can find cool um, abstraction with the strokes that you made. I've used that uh, before also to um, put those together. So let me go ahead and I'll show you how this can compare to the palette. So this is a palette that's made by New Wave. Uh, they're in Pennsylvania. Uh, I really like this palette because it's cut uh, ergonomically, so it fits around your arm uh, when you're holding it. So this is the side I actually work on, but as you can see, it's got some collar on it, so I actually wanted to show you more of this um, neutral side. So as you can see, it's getting kind of close. It's kind of hard to tell with the lighting, and bear in mind, this is a smooth surface, and this is a textured surface, so the color is going to reflect slightly differently. But as opposed to working 
you know, from a, a plain white piece of paper uh, or, or a canvas rather, uh, it will look something like this. You can see how different uh, the tone is um, in, in regards to, you know, versus using it on the palette. So that's exactly why we want to tone this is because if your color is right here and you get that all mixed up correctly, it's gonna be more likely to be correct when you go to put it onto the canvas. And you wanna do 80% of your work on uh, the palette uh, make sure your colors are right. Check them here. It'll save you so much time when you go to actually put the color on the canvas because you can mix here, but it's going to be so much work. Move things around, move things around. It's better to spend most of your time on the palette. I would say 80% of my time is spent here making the color, making it correct before I put it up on here. So this gives us a great material to bounce off of in terms of color and makes it fairly close. Uh, this will dry. You can draw right on it if you feel like you want to draw before you start to paint, uh, that's a great uh, resource as well. So I hope you found that video helpful in terms of uh, learning how to tint or tone a canvas. Uh, as I stated, you can use any color that you'd like. Uh, personally, I use burnt sienna quite often. Uh, sometimes I'll just use a straight up black, or I've also used ultramarine blue just to try to give it some type of, a, I guess, a jury uh, tone to it. Uh, if you have any questions or, or you want to talk about that further, I'd be happy to help answer those for you. So be sure to make a comment on that. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I will be putting up more videos about painting and how to paint. So be sure to subscribe so you receive notifications on this as well. I thank you for your time here tonight. Uh, God bless and we'll catch you on the next.